Hey guys, Nick here and today we'll be discussing whether this game update was too late or not. To begin with, I feel like I'm the only person who's discussing why the Master Chief update is a little too late in my opinion. The game came out back in 2014 and it took 4 effing years just to get the game fixed. The problem is, now that the game is fixed, they don't have as many players as they used to when the game launched. Too many people had already called it a quits because of how much players felt like they were being mistreated. I suppose when Halo 5 came out that was supposed to distract how bad Master Chief Collection was. However, Halo 5 wasn't necessarily a game that made Halo fans happy either. But this video ain't about Halo 5. I already know that some people are going to ask, but Nick, why can't you be happy about this new update? And please guys, don't get me wrong, I'm heavily fascinated about this new update. I've been playing the Master Chief Collection this past couple of weeks more than anything at the moment. I'm nothing but happy about this game. The problem is, it's just too late. Most people I know had dropped this game years ago. I'm glad that 343 actually cared enough to fix this game, despite it being slightly old now. This fixed update actually brings me hope to the next Halo game, but it won't stop me from worrying about how Halo Infinite will be. This is the right step in the direction for 343, and this should help it make everyone feel better about the fate in Halo Infinite. But so, a couple of problems that I have now with this new update is the fact that they completely removed the pre-game veto system. Like, there was nothing wrong with that to begin with. That was never a problem, so let's not make it a problem. I understand that 343 had found a way to make online matchmaking faster, but at least let me decide what map I want to play on. Another thing is that I can't even see who I'm paired up with before the game starts. This just brings back 343 trying to avoid people from leaving after seeing high ranked players against them. But here's an idea, how about we fix this pairing system where players have the option to find other players that are the same skill base level as each other. But no, this is the easy way out I suppose. Lastly, while the game loads before the match even starts, I can't even see what game mode I'm playing, just the map. Maybe if the veto system wasn't taken out, then all of these problems wouldn't even exist. But no, that's what 343 knew how to do in Halo 5, unfortunately. Another thing that I noticed was there's still no way to customize your Spartan the way you'd like it to be. You can change the color of your armor, select different body sets, but that's it. You can't change specific armor such as shoulders or helmets or anything like that. If I were in control of this game, I'd have a way where you'd have to unlock the armor pieces itself, just so that way they have more meaning to it. That's also what made players want to play the game more, were these challenges that made players want to come back. Now in Halo MCC, it's just a play and go type of deal, which sucks. The last thing that I have to complain about is theater mode. Now why is there no save file options on here? It's weird to me that this problem was completely avoided out of the equation. I for myself make videos of Halo, therefore saving videos is incredibly important, uh, but I can't, I can't do these if I can't save videos. So what the heck 343, just gonna leave that in the dark now? Finally though, this is as good as Master Chief Collection will ever be now. I'm happy that most bugs and glitches were solved in the game, but as a Halo fan it bums me out that this is where we're at with Halo right now. The fan base isn't as strong as it used to be, despite the Master Chief Collection being better now. It's not going to fix the scars it left on people. But this is why I'll be anticipating Halo Infinite, hoping that 343 can restore what they broke. I have been your host, Nick, and I thank you for watching this video. As always, leave a comment below and let's share some opinions and create a discussion thread. Sub, like, do whatever people on the tubes do. I'll catch you later. Go to bed.